Good morrow. Welcome to New Plymouth. It is the year of our Lord, 1607 and 20. On this winter morning, I will tell you about some of my clothes and show you how I dress myself. We rise early in the morning and the air is still cold. I slept last night in one of my smocks. Smocks, like undershirts, are simple, loose-fitting garments that rest against my skin. They are made of a cloth of linen. Linen is made from the flax plant and air moves easily through it, and it is cool to the touch. I have a number of smocks which I change and wash often to keep my body clean, as they are the only garment that touches my skin on most of my body. Sometimes, when it is very cold, I sleep in more layers of clothes. This morning, we light a fire as soon as we rise. My bodies are the first layer to go on over my smock. Upper bodies, or petticoat bodies, are a close-fitting garment that is structured to give me support. They lace in a spiral fastening up the front. My bodies are made from layers of canvas. Some have layers of buckram, which is linen stiffened with glues or paste. The rest of my clothes will go on over my fresh smock. My clothes are suited to the daily labours of a housewife, and I dress myself with no assistance. The items I choose to wear each day depend upon the season and the weather, as well as the labours I must do. Today is not a special day. It is not Sabbath, nor is there a wedding or a funeral. I have many tasks to do about the house, so I dress myself the way I do most days, for labour. I often refer to my bodies as petticoat bodies, for I have attached them to my petticoats that extend from my waist to my ankles. My petticoat bodies are cut in a way that allow me to move easily. In them, I can comfortably work in our garden and fields, care for children, nurse and cook in our hearth. The winter months can be harsh here in New England, so I will wear two petticoats this day. My petticoats are made from a long length of woolen cloth and attach at my waist. Layers of petticoats not only protect me from the cold, but also shield me from the heat of the hearth fire as I cook. The wool will not burn easily. Truthfully, sparks tend to fall off my petticoats before I even notice them. Some women wear a newer fascian that is structured with channels filled with materials such as reeds called bents or whale baleen, which is called bone. Baleen is flexible, being not actually a bone, but being made of the same stuff as my fingernails. Over my bodies, I put on a partlet, which covers my neck and upper chest. While my smock is made of a cheaper linen, my partlet is made from a finer linen for it was made to be seen and will not be damaged by sweat. My stockings are made from wool and can be knit or sewn from cloth. Garters tied at my knees hold them in place. My shoes are made from leather. They have two latchets tied over a tongue with laces of leather or linen finished with tags. Each day, I take time to comb my hair and wash those parts of my body which are exposed. First, I comb my hairs carefully to clean them. The teeth of the comb are close together, so they will remove any dirt or dandruff or any other unwanted thing. I then braid my hairs and secure the braids about my head with a woven tape. Like all English women, I cover my hair. I wear a coif which is a simple linen garment that ties securely at the nape of my neck. My braids will help to keep my coif in place. There are many styles of head coverings that other women wear. Some head coverings are more shaped or structured and some are wrapped around the head. I cover my head because it is stated that women should do so in scripture, in the first book of Corinthians. It also helps to keep my hair clean and out of my face. Last night I washed my feet before bed, so this morning I will simply wash my face and hands in a basin, using water and soap, regularly washing my face, hands and feet, combing my hair and changing my smock will keep me clean. I also care for my teeth. For example, a mixture of salt and sage, pounded fine and baked, applied evening and morning, is good against the yellowing of the teeth. 
To finish dressing, my waistcoat goes over my bodies and secures at the front. This waistcoat has hooks and eyes, although others pin closed. It is made of wool with a linen lining. Waistcoats are tailored to fit the shape of the body. To keep me warm on this cold morning, I will also wear a partlet of wool, which pins to my waistcoat at the front and back. My waistcoat, bodies and smock will protect me from the pins. Today I wear a girdle, which secures with a buckle about my waist. From my girdle I can hang a pocket to carry a few small items in, or I can stick items directly in my girdle to leave my hands free for work. My apron is a simple piece of cloth of linen or wool tied about my waist to keep my clothes clean. I can even tuck my apron up to form a sack in which to carry items about the house or the town. With my apron in place, I am ready for the day. Were it a day that required finer clothing, I might pin on some cuffs or a collar or wear finer petticoats and pin them up. But those clothes would not be suitable for today's work. Everything that I wear today was made back in England, for no clothes are produced here in New Plymouth. Though the morning is cold, there are many chores that need to be completed before I make a little breakfast. But first, we take a moment to pray together as a family. Today is a fair, sunshiny day, so I will take our bed linens out to air. Like with changing my smock to keep my skin clean, it is also important to regularly air out our bedding. To keep warm, I wear mittens and a muffler or chin clout, which is a length of woolen cloth I wrap around my neck. Although it differs from the apparel of our plain country villages, I also wear a huke. Tis a garment commonly worn by Dutch women and acts like a coat or cloak. The part of the huke that rests on my head is stiffened to help keep it in place and can be decorated with all manner of ornamentation. Though I am English, I spent some time in Leiden, a city in the province of Holland, so I own a huke as part of my wardrobe. Thank you for spending time with me this morning. But now it is time that I take the linens out to air. When I return anon, I will start breakfast. May have the leavings of yester morrow's supper of salt fish and a hasty pudding of maize corn. God buy you. <laughs>